All right, YouTube. Next, we are going to play Legacy Elves. Uh, this is one of my favorite decks to play. A lot of fun. It's going to be a good time. I'm pretty excited for this video. So let's let's see how we do. Playing against E. W. Landon. Shouldn't he be in the challenge? Not just beating me. There goes the Brero Brothers. Great. Okay. So what do we got here? We have a whole lot of nothing. This hand's horrible. So I'm going to mulligan. There's no way to draw cards. Ah, uh, this hand is kind of, I think, a hand we have to keep. Like, he's mulliganing. He might have a... Yeah, usually he plays a lot of reanimator, but that's not all he plays. But a turn two scavenging is, should be pretty good. So I could Green Sun for Dryad Arbor. No, that's I think that's fine. Like, because I know what people play also. People know what I play. So I think that's okay to do. I'm going to play Finhorn Elves. It's the same thing as playing Green Sun Zenith for one. And this might become something else later in the game. Like if I find a Wirewood Symbiote, then... It could become Elvish Visionary. Dark Ritual. Intomb. We're dead. Alright. I concede. Okay. We're not going to be Gristlebrand. So we return off there. If we were on the play, we would have been okay. But what we want against this deck is Ley Lines and Thought Seizes. Oh, shoot. Bring these in. I don't really know what to take out. Um, I could cut my glimpses. Blazing Archon on Sorcery locks him out of Creatures. Reclamation Sage doesn't seem that great. Natural Order. I probably can shave on like a Wirewood Symbiote and then maybe like an Elvish Visionary because we're not trying to play that grindy game. Like we're just basically trying to disrupt him, get on the board, and then play play a creature I'm gonna call land I don't know if this is correct but this is what we're gonna do here I'm gonna try hoof him out of the game Uh, I think this hand's a mulligan. We we don't have a ley line. We don't have a way to get scavenging use either. Even though we have thought seize, like that's not gonna be enough. Oh shoot! I hit keep. Damn it! I meant to mulligan. All right. Well, opponent mulligans a six. That was just a misclick from me. So I'm gonna go get. Bayou thought seize. Put a card on the bottom. I guess I'm just going to take this Dark Ritual. No, I should take Entomb. Definitely take Entomb. And I just hope he doesn't hit on me. Because he's no way to put anything in the graveyard at the moment. If he finds a way to put something in the graveyard, I'm dead as a doorknob. But, like, that's life. Alright, that means I can take Dark Ritual. Yeah, I'm going to take Dark Ritual. Because Dark Ritual is just going to make it much more explosive. Now I'm going to go get a Savannah and play Finhorn Elves. Just doesn't play like the dead.
which makes sense. I'm just going to play out two more elves now. Help the go wide plan. Actually, I can return a forest. I can use this ability right now and then Thoughtseize. Yeah, sure. Choose target creature. And I will just ditch this Exhume because it's the best one against Scavenging Ooze. All right, now we just send in. Mediocre beats, baby. One, two, three, four, five. So if we hit a land, how's it going, Andrew? So let's cast this before combat so that we can untap our Nettle Sentinel. Return Forest you control. Okay, so now I just attack with everybody. Return a Forest. Untap Dryad Arbor. Return this. Don't play this deck. It's making me assign my legacy. Play this and now, yes. And now we just pass. We get our mediocre beats on. All right. This is like the best we can do, you know? All right, so let me attack first. Tons of paper, so I can play Miracle Stone. Like said, nice job, Milk Dad. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let me just go always yes, because like I can't imagine a world where I don't untap my Nettle Sentinels. Stone Blade is sweet. All right, well, untap. So, I'm just gonna cast this. I'm walking into Elish Norn, but I'm not gonna beat Elish Norn anyways. So two, yeah, we're not we're not gonna do anything else. I just hope he doesn't Elish Norn me. Goes to one. All right, don't do it. This is definitely Elish Norn. No. Oh, hang on. Turn off all. Oh, God. I don't know if I have a way to beat this. Yeah, maybe I should have brought in some abrupt decays for Animate Dead. Probably should have. Probably should have brought in some Erupt Gaze just to be able to whack an animated dead if I need to. Sad. Almost at him. Which, you know, that's the best we can do, right? We drew, we drew a lot of Thought Seizes, which gave us a chance. So again, everyone that's watching this on Twitch and YouTube, I really appreciate you here. We're playing these donation deck lists for to benefit the Barrero Brothers Wrestling. You can see that in the chat or in the YouTube videos below. They'll all be in there. For a $10 donation to myself or the Barrero Brothers, I will play your deck on stream. So check that out. And there are two brothers that are looking to, looking to make it big. Oh, I'm going to keep. This is pretty good. All right, I 
have to think if I can like what I should be doing with my glimpse or with my green sun zenith. Well, now I want my green sun zenith to be, get this against a blue deck. So one, two, three, play this, play this. Yeah, I'm just gonna play out Heritage. I'm gonna play out Nettle Sentinel. Then next turn, I can attack with it, play two elves. Then I can like Green Sun Zenith for Wirewood Symbiote Dryad Arbor. Like that might be exposing me too much. All right, Stoneforge Mystic is okay. Getting Jit is a little scary because Jit's just gonna like kill me. I can't really. Okay, so let me think. Play three elves. Cast Glimpse. Untap target creature. One, two, untap. Three, go get another one. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. My opponent has Force of Will. They have Force of Will. No, I don't have VODs enabled because I put my, um, I put my videos on YouTube. And I'm a YouTube partner, so I make money from there. So I try to steer people from Twitch VODs onto YouTube. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it here. Like, the problem is I don't really know where I end. So I'm gonna like learn a little bit with that. I think I follow your YouTube dude. Well, I appreciate it. I'm certainly a fan of all of your legacy stuff. Okay, so play this. I'm gonna tap three mana. I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna make three mana. One, two, three. Play, this is my play glimpse. Oh, uh, they forced this. Okay. All right. So that's still in taps. So I can play Queer and Ranger. Sure. Play Wirewood Symbiote. Now, how much mana do I have? I've got. Three, six, eight. Crater Hoof costs eight, three. Then untap, six. Alternatively, I could just start bouncing and unbouncing. What are the odds that I actually get to hoof my opponent out next turn? I don't think it's that high. So I think I'm just going to Green Sun Zenith for Elvish Visionary. So hang on. So let me go here. Oh, I don't have enough elves. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't an elf. All right. We're set up next turn at least. I guess I could have returned an elf, untapped a creature, then done it. Yeah, I messed up. So one of my, one of my first times playing this deck, so we're giving it a whirl here. All right, Trinity Nemesis is okay. So we're pretty incentivized to try to make something happen this turn. Okay, well that's kind of what we want to do. All right, let's just Let's just make it happen. So let's make three mana. Green Sun Zenith. 
for two. Untap. Yes. Let's get Elvish Visionary. Always yield. Cast Glimpse. Oh, I should have tapped to make three mana, but whatever. Okay, so I'll make three mana. Two, three. Cast this. Always yield. All right, here we go. Here we go. So return an elf. No, I want to untap this, return this. I should have made mana. Use Metal Sentinel's ability, yes. Draw a card, okay. So let's make mana. One, two, three, play this. Okay. Use Nettle Sentinel's ability, yes. Okay. Another glimpse. So, one, I have enough mana, but I, only, I don't have like that many attackers. So the question is, do I just let my, my opponent untap and then Umazawa's Jitty me, which they take out like a couple of my creatures, but then the hoof should be good next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make my opponent have Crater Hook Behemoth next turn. One, two, three. Because this is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would have two attackers. Return a force. You untap target creature. Oh, we're good, right? So tap. Make three mana. So we'll go here. We go make this make this make this play a land go get dryad arbor get this yes go get the hoof Now we go, choose target creature, this one. Oh shoot, uh, I, should have, I should have had them choose themselves, but whatever. Um, okay, and then just whatever, rawr. Mass for blockers. Oh, that's awesome. Huff, there it is. Okay, so we get Stoneblade. I probably want my decays and my trophies. The progenitus is probably also pretty good because if I can get this out, it's supreme verdict or bust. The choke's also good. Um, I think this is like a combo card, right? So I don't think that I want this. And again, if there's anyone that's played elves, they should let me know. I don't really want scavenging use because we're not going to race. Wirewood symbiote and queer on ranger are good. Uh, Reclamation Sage. Maybe I don't want all of these cards here. Let's get rid of this. Thoughtsy is also good against Stoneforge Mystic. Like, I have so many things that I want to bring in, but I don't want to over sideboard. I don't know if I should be sideboarding for like a long game or sideboarding for speed. You know? Like, I don't really think I want to play a, a long game against the Umazawa's Jitte deck. So like maybe getting rid of some of these, like maybe we have, yeah. My opponent's not gonna wasteland me. I'm gonna cut a land. We're gonna be a little bold. 
We cut five cards or four cards because we played a 61 card special. Queer and Wager Wirewood Symbiote. Scavenging Ooze. I don't think we need Scavenging Ooze. I don't think we're going to be racing. Oh, I meant to cut one more card here. This one, this is a combo card. Um, Pendlehaven seems kind of medium as well. But I don't want to cut too many lands. But if I keep all of my duders that uh, that make mana, maybe I can do that. I don't know. How low? I have so many one drops to make mana. Maybe I can just like get a little greedy. Just got one card. I'm going to cut a Burschler Ranger and then submit. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got the... Well, we can play Choke on two, so I'm going to keep this. Play this. No, can we play Choke on two? I don't think so. Well, this taps for one and this taps for one, so we can't. So I'm just going to play the Dryad Arbor. Because I don't want to expose my symbiote. Then I can play symbiote, play, play cradle, play elvish visionary, and then we're kind of doing it. So let's go here. Oh shoot, I played my oh man. That was a pun. I meant to do I meant to tap it off this dryad arbor. That's okay. Because if I had done it like this, I could have gone cradle into visionary. Okay. They're forcing that. Alright. Yeah, that's good for the home team. We're gonna send a message. Alright, my opponent's digging. My opponent taps out for Stoneforge Mystic, then we're just jamming this choke. Okay. That uh that cradle wouldn't look good now. That's for sure. So let's just play this. Okay. So if I just go Green Sun Zenith for one, then I have, I can bounce, play Cradle and do it again. I don't really want to just jam this choke. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go green sun zenith for one. Go get wirewood symbiote. Containment priest. So I'm just not going to do that. All right. Might be in trouble now. We don't really, we don't really have a lot going on. Kind of how our draws line up, unfortunately. All right, I'm not going to crack my fetch land. Jeez. All right, well, let's go get a land. Uh, get by you. I'm just gonna attack and then I'm just gonna jam this choke. Be like whatever, you got three cards. Yo, that containment priest was a beating. Counterspell. Okay. <clears throat> this containment priest is gonna be hard to beat. Actually, 
Ant Lorga with a follow. I appreciate it. Natural order doesn't do anything. Does actually nothing. Oh no. We've, we've had a suspect draw this game. I think I'm very dead. Because now they have like a good enough clock on the battlefield. Gonna go through this turn. Play and equip Umazawa's Jete. Right click concede. All right, we're gonna take about one more draw step here. What would be a good hit for me? I guess like Wirewood Symbiote. No, that's not it. All right, scoop it up. All right. I think we're just gonna keep it the way it is. And hopefully we can be a little more explosive on the play. I think after this league, I'm gonna take my dog OUT and then we're gonna shift into modern. I would like to play first. Oh, gross. If one of these wasn't a cradle, we'd be so good. Okay. Put it on top. I'm just going to make a bunch of mana. Though it's not a lands, maybe I should have bought it. Maybe I should have bottomed that because it wasn't a land. All right, I'm just going to play this. Play this and pass. I guess this doesn't actually do anything because this isn't an insect. They force that. That is what they force. Okay. So I can basically like cycle this next turn, I guess. Let's just return this. Okay. Play this. I'm just trying to cycle here. All right. And I think I'm gonna fetch right now so I don't get hit with a containment priest. And get in there, get in there with the beats. Turn now if you control untapped target creature, activate this ability. Okay, did. Mm. 
Mediocre beats. Here we go. I'm just going to attack. Get a little Motley crew going on here. You forced this one last time. You're going to counter it again? Okay. I've only got two cards, so like, you know. I would take a true, you can play true name all you want. Palace Jailer would suck. So I feel like this is a Jace or a Verdict or a Palace Jailer. Either are pretty bad for the home team. You know, bounce. They do this on me. I think I should have bottomed my card on the mulligan. All right, I'm just going to attack my opponent so that a mini, um, whatever it is, is going to kill them, like a little crater hoof. Though I don't really see how I'm going to get a crater hoof going with this wirewood symbiote. Like, we don't have enough mana. Untap target creature, activate this ability. So we can go, like, if we get enough um, elves, but we're a little... We don't really have that as an option at the moment. We're just in a lot of trouble here to this Jace. Okay. Didn't click. I'm just gonna decay this. Like they're probably just gonna leave me with what I have. If I had to guess. But like we're on the derpy attack creatures plan. You return an elf you control to its owner's hand, untap target creature. Attack my opponent. Then we can green some zenith for something next turn. Probably an elf. Oh no, this is a palace jailer. It's either a palace jailer or a verdict. Both are pretty bad for the home team. X is zero. Give me a Dryad Arbor. We're in a lot of trouble here. Rude. That's so rude. Give me my unbeatable 2-2. Two -two. Snapcaster Counterspell. Opponent's on the tempo plan. Oh, they're gonna plow. Okay. What are they gonna plow? Probably plow the Dryad Arbor. Because the the Snapcaster just trades with the Nettle Sentinel. We find a land, we do this sweet play where we can attack before damage, decay it. All right. I yield to the Palace Jailer. Jace and the Monarch is obnoxious. Man, we we're getting beat up today. It's probably because I'm not very good at these decks. Like I'm, I'm new. I'm a player that, like, in order to get good at something, needs a lot of different reps. So... Legacy's hard to just pick up and wing it with a deck. Someone that's like I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty, uh, pretty inexperienced with Legacy. So like, just picking it up and going is hard. My opponent is double queuing the Legacy Challenge, which is just great value. Great content value for us. Vault. 
I'm going to play Pendlehaven into Elvish Mystic next turn. I guess I shouldn't expose my Pendlehaven to a Wasteland in case we're playing against like Delver. Because being able to Pendlehaven over Pyromancer tokens, oh gosh. All right, I guess I just play this and then I name Sorceries. No, that cuts off. No, that cuts off all my best draws. Shoot. Okay. I mean, it makes them find sneak attack, I guess, but like it also cuts off natural order for me. Turn four is even an untapped target creature. All right, so let's start here. They're gonna draw seven, okay. Play one, two, spend one of their untapped target creature, activate this ability only once each turn. Play this. All right, we don't have anything going on. But we're gonna make our opponent sneak attack us. This card's so obnoxious. Like you get to draw cards with this thing. Like it's so dumb. Sneak attack. Amraku. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This flies, right? Yeah. So we have to sacrifice our duder anyways. Like he's gonna have to block something. Okay. Not doing a lot of winning today. That that should be known. Uh, probably don't need scavenging ooze. Reclamation stage is like uh, they're not gonna bring in blood moon. Um, this is probably like whatever. And I'll cut one land, I guess. This is what we'll do here. We're trying to get a fast hand that lets us go like pedal to the metal, I guess, and um, just try to overpower what they're doing. I don't think this hand does it. Like, if we draw a way to draw cards or like, yeah, I think I can do better on a mulligan. All right, we're gonna keep this one. We can go put that on the bottom. Just gonna play this and pass. So I can go Gaia's Cradle into put that on the bottom. So I can just go Glimpse of Nature and then Cycle, which I think I probably got to do. So let's try this. They're brainstorming, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to like try to get a little more out of this, but our hand just doesn't do anything. So we need the we need to just find things to do. Alright, I mean Elvis, Elvis Visionary is okay. Because we can go Elvish Visionary into Thoughtseize if my opponent doesn't just have it here. Which I kind of think they just have it. Okay. All 
Okay, I was hoping they didn't go like Lotus Petal Sweeper. And that would just hurl. So we're going to play this off of the Cradle, unless I draw a land. If I draw a land, then... All right, well, now I'm going to do it off the Cradle for sure, just in case. One, two. Tap two, untap elves. Hmm. I don't think it's, I still don't think it's worth it. I guess we can figure it out if we thought sees them. Uh, what did they do there? They shuffled, so we're just gonna take this brainstorm. Play this. And then just pass and like whatever you know if they have a fatty to show in i think it would beat like an emrakul snake attack okay Green Sun Zenith for <clears throat> how do I just do the most I need to put the most creatures on the battlefield as possible because if I just go get hoof then hoof gives everything four so it's nine yeah they're still just dead so I'm just gonna go get crater hoof behemoth I guess getting a creature is just free. Yeah, so let me just go green sun. Green sun for two. I'll go get a... Um, go get a Elvish Visionary. So if I go tap, tap, one, two, three, four, it's nine plus, they're still dead. So I just go, let's make black mana. Just make sure they didn't hit a force of will. Right, am I doing my math right? There'll be five creatures in play. The hoof will be nine. Yeah. I actually can tap the nettle sentinel. And I can tap these two, okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, they didn't hit. Whatever, just take this. Keep this. Pay two. Sacrifice this. Go get a hoof. Always yield and get ya. Man, I like hoofing people. So do we want to bring in like assassin's trophies to be able to that kind of a situation? Or do we just want to be linear and go fast? And I think being linear is the best thing to do. So we're just going to hit the submit button. YOLO it up. We drew our Crater Hoof Behemoth. Control untap. I'm going to keep this. This is like a turn to kind of do some shenanigans. Uh, 
untap target creature, and I can go get um, Dryad Arbor to make more mana. The opponent chooses to not shuffle. If somebody told me that was a mulligan, I would buy it, I think. All right, let's... Let's go like this. Then play Queer and Ranger. All right. Return of Force. You control your own and untap target creature. Okay, so let's return this. Pay here. Green Sun Zenith. Return an elf, you control untapped target creature. So if I return this, oh no, hang on. I wanna go here. Now I can play this, draw another card, draw into a thought seize type target creature so play this thought sees my opponent okay then I can return the forest untap this play Bursler Rangers and then I can make a bunch I can make some mana off some elves okay so we have fatty on top so let's just take a show and tell. Untap this. Draw a card. Another Burstler Rangers. So let's make green mana. Cast. All right, that's all we got. The thing is, we should be able to, if my opponent just says Emrakul, we should be good. Whoa. Okay, so let's return an elf. Let's return this. Return this elf. That was a beating. Sure. So we know they just went island go. So now I just play this. Turn force you control to his hand, activate untapped target creature. So I should just go play um, this one this turn. And then I can play both of these. So my opponent's just sitting on waiting for a fatty. Return an elf you control. That sucks. There must be a way that I can do this though. I'm just gonna go for it. So I can play three elves, make three mana. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for this. Or even if I just cycle something, it's still like, okay. I, mean, I might be spewing, but I think I'm probably spewing. Like, I, just, I just can't do anything more after this. 
Just cycled it. Next turn, I can do some fun stuff, though. Like, next turn, I think I can natural order through Force of Will. Ancient Tomb. Pyroplasm, okay. So Show and Tell X. So Thoughtseize, Queer and Ranger, Green Sun Zenith. Thoughtseize, Queer and Ranger. Green Sun Zenith. Then I need to find a way to make mana. I guess I should, I, that was stupid. I should have waited because I could top deck a thing. Okay, they're going for a loot. Swedish Ancient Tomb. Elvish Visionary. One, two, three. Return a forest you control this on the hand. Activate untapped target creature. Activate this ability each turn. So, return a forest, bounce this, untap here which gives me natural order sacking this so hang on can i can i play crater hoof and does that matter or should i just get like wirewood symbiote with natural order so return a forest to your hand untap target creature so here play this i have four mana And I can just use my natural order to just turn it into a cantrip, basically, which is what I'm going to do. Play this. Sack this. I could also just get... Weary Unray or Wirewood Symbiote to start setting off like a chain. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Wirewood Symbiote. Hopefully, he doesn't like get me again, and then I just can start to chain things off and make a bunch of mana. And then hopefully, like, play Crater Hoof in the same turn. I had to hope my opponent never finds a fatty, basically. They did. Rut row. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. We have a sneak attack. Okay, show and tell. We're just going to put in, we're going to turn off my auto yields and put in verdant catacombs. Omniscience. I have a lot of fun playing this deck. I'm not very good at it yet, but it is fun at least. Okay, there's another Gristle Brand. All right, I'm going to end a turn. I'm going to grab the Dryad Arbor. All right. Let's go here. So now I want to tap five mana. Return this. 
I don't want to do it right. Two target creature. Untap this. Okay. All right, we're we're out. Unfortunately, let's return a forest to control and activate this ability. I'm just gonna play this. Play this. Pass the turn. I just kind of hope my opponent doesn't have anything. I'm sure that there's like mistakes that I've made here that could could have led to me winning this game. But it's been fun. Okay. Concede the game. Okay, so that's kind of like you know, that's just that's just me not really knowing exactly what's going on with the deck. Like, it's the first time that I've played it through a league. Um, so, it's my fault. You know, like, the decks, like, these last two decks are obviously better than I have given them credit for, as I'm just new. But we're going to move on to some modern decks. I'm going to take the dog out.